How's everybody doing today? Just want to make yeah. sure. Is everyone as hungover right? as Jenna Mo here? Nobody's as hungover <laughs> as Jenna Mo. She asked for a small glass of wine. And this is what Jesse got me. And I've taken like four sips out of it already. <laughs> a Casa de Milky, that is the small. Yeah, right. Oh, exactly. Right. I really didn't want to drink wine today, you know but so like, I feel like it's a kind of like we have to. Leave it to you and I to say who's has lipstick on it and who's doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse's has lipstick on it's it. It's not lipstick. It's lip balm, but it's just funny looking. Um, What else is funny was that comment we got on Facebook about, I can't remember who it was from and forgive me, but she was like, oh my gosh, I love you guys. Like I just started listening to your pos- podcast. I used to listen to this podcast and the more they drank, the messier they got and oh, it yeah. got more and more like disorganized and yeah, stuff. Yeah. You guys do it well. And I was like, she called us organized drunks. <laughs> like, and then she replied saying, well, joy. that's not exactly what I meant, Jenna, but yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so to that, have you have you finally gotten through the entire WKRP series? No, I I've, I'm so bad. I've only on like season one, okay. I'm near the end of season have one. Have you seen the episode where, where, where they do the, drunk driving test with Johnny in the studio okay never mind then but I'd love to (laughs) Uh, Rebecca goes what what the fuck's a small glass of wine (laughs) (laughs) good girl yeah I drank three bottles I drank three small glasses of wine last night three small glasses of wine oh sometimes I can surprise myself with my uh, alcohol intake (laughs) (laughs) you rally I know and she's here she showed up for work and everything I was only six minutes late too which is so bizarre for me I don't think I've in the all the years we've worked together have I ever been late on purpose no, you're not a late the person. only one time was when my alarm didn't go off remember that oh yeah yeah everyone thought I was dead but it worked out we were able to get some headshots for Jesse right. that's right. right that day that your alarm didn't go off oh my god she came like a bat out of hell into the studio why didn't you call me <laughs> I was like I did your phone was dead oh no yeah, it completely just died, like well, shut off. What time did you get there? I got there at like 5.30 when the yeah, show was about to okay. start. Miss, yeah. yeah, but like for me, not being there in my routine was very hard. Yeah. And you didn't have news See, my, ready. My show used to start at 9. I'd wander in about 9.40. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> but see, this is one one knock against not having landlines anymore. Because if you still had a landline. Well, I do. Oh, well, I don't have the number. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I don't even know the phone number. <laughs> it's just because uh, it's just for my buzzer. Your, your building can't. Move Not that to a because cell phone? my phone's a long distance one. It's a nine oh five. Oh my god! Telling the world, do you want me to tell the world? My god? It's two thousand. It's almost. It's almost twenty twenty. Can You're we right. like? Um. All right. Let's get into this listener letter. Okay, this one's really funny, and it made me giggle at first, but then my heart also went out to her. Uh, she goes, "I've been dating this guy for over a month, but it's moving pretty fast." We spend most of our free time together, and it feels like I actually have a future with him. Girl, it always starts out like that. <laughs> the honeymoon phase. The other night, we were getting it on doggy style. Yeah, so you can both, both watch X-Files. And I accidentally tooted. <laughs> oh, well. wow. He laughed, I laughed, but I was completely mortified. I usually sleep over, but I made up some lame excuse and bolted. It's been a few <laughs> days, and I'm still extremely embarrassed. I've been kind of brushing him off lately, but won't be able to do it for much longer. How can I muster up the courage to face him again? Should I bring it up? Should I move to another country and change my name? <laughs> Signed, Ro, or R-O. X-O-X-O-X-O. Mm. Aww. Uh, I, I'm with you for, I don't like sleepovers, and especially if you're gassy. You, she was probably scared she'd let another one rip in the middle of the night. Oh, I think she was just so embarrassed. Like, girls, like, you know, girls don't toot. I know we all do, but no, we don't at the same time. I think this is something that you and John are going to have to weigh in on more because I think straight men like this sort of thing from girls. <laughs> You know, they like when you guys don't wear makeup and wear scrubby clothes and fart Sometimes. and burp and show that you're a real person. A lot of them. I don't know. Like, I still am not a big fan of flatulence in front of my significant other. No. Like, I can even picture when we're married and old. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to be that comfortable. I, 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 I'm I, not. Yeah. No. And, but at the same time, like, shit happens, girls. Well, that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when you fart, shit happens. Yeah. And, you know, in my world. Yeah. <laughs> You have to be prepared for worse things than a fart. But sex, whether it's hetero, homo, or with whatever inanimate object, it makes funny noises. Well, yeah, that's what my first thought was. Isn't there fart sounds? Call them queefs. Call them whatever you want. But when you're packing air in there, you're doing it right. It's just science. Yeah, but it happens, and it's funny, and it's awkward, and it's embarrassing. It is. But, but like, this was a real, sounds like a real gas. Yeah. 
And you just hope that the sex is good enough that they forget about it, but I don't know. But I think you can also tell the difference. Again, I'm not experienced with the vaginals, but (laughs) I feel like you can tell the difference between a pressure, like a fuck fart and a real fart. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's a bit more like, I I think, I think what happened, which everybody who has been in doggy style has attempted before is where you can feel it coming and you tried really hard to not let it slip out, but it just slipped out. Yeah, but you know what's even worse is if maybe she farted like in a minute of a break, like maybe he wasn't going through the motions literally when it happened, so mm. she couldn't blame it on like a a queef fart right. or whatever we're calling those. Uh, <laughs> so she had to like you know you're there on all fours, and she lets a huge one rip, and it's if it stunk, so embarrassing. If it stunk, it's even worse. Well, she didn't mention it, so hopefully that wasn't the case, or maybe she was just so mortified she didn't even think to stop and sell the roses. <laughs> Bill says Lisa farts all the time. Oh, are we, do we have a couple watching us? <laughs> Bill, Lisa farts all the time. I like to think it means she's comfortable around me. Oh, well, you know what? There are, that's a relationship though. Right now, and you, I had a friend tell me this. She goes, there's going to be times in your relationship where you have to open up that bathroom door, a.k.a. You know, you're in Mexico together. You're having a romantic time. Someone gets food poisoning. Oh. You're in a hotel room together. Like, you're you're getting over that hump pretty quickly. Yeah, it's true. You know? Or even if you're at home and you run out of toilet paper, bring me another roll. Right. <laughs> a relationship starts off where you're embarrassed to fart. You probably won't even poop at his house. Yeah. And then it quickly turns into pooping with the door open when you move in together. It's true. James, at least it didn't happen when he was carpet munching. <laughs> Oh, my God. Could you imagine? You guys, that's so gross. Right in the mouth. I'm going to assume since James actually knows that that's a thing, that that's actually happened to James, and I feel so bad for you, James. Has that happened to you? (gasps) Ew, guys. Um, What would it taste like? I could honestly say I've never tasted a fart. Oh, John. (laughs) Wow, we are. All I think is Brussels sprouts. Oh. Oh. Why? Because Brussels sprouts smell smell like farts farts and taste like farts. Rocket fuel. Okay, here's something really gross. I Googled the other day why people like the smell of their own farts. Not like, but you know you do it. When I you... would love to go through one episode of where all we do is read out Jesse's internet Google history. history. Oh, oh no, can big. we do no. that? No. <laughs> because I Google like, things that I'm just curious about, even if I, they don't pertain to me. <laughs> but like it's this. still the thought that you the, the, you thought to Google this in the first place I, okay, just Okay, I could get into that. A me. whole new segment on the podcast. Things that make Jesse go, hmm. There's an idea. Because sometimes I Google very intellectual things, like <laughs> definitely of words I don't know. <laughs> you know, but anyway, I Googled why do people like, like the smell of their own farts? Vaginals, yes. People like the smell of their own farts. It's not so much as liking it, but you know you sniff, like if you have a really stinker, you're like, oh, what does it smell like? You're curious. At least I am. I'll admit it. And it's because it's your biology, so your body recognizes it as something that it created, so it's not foreign. So it's the same so as it like... So like alerts you to it? Or you recognize. It's like seeing your reflection. You don't think, oh, who's that person? You know instantly. So it's sort of that idea. So, so- a fart that everyone else clears the room from, you will like sit there and smell it no problem yeah so are you trying to say to you that does that mean that your farts never smell as bad as you think they do well not to you right but to other people they probably do yeah um you know what back to our your our, own our, brand our, yes james yeah, right. exactly back to our, our listener though that wrote in like he seems to be okay with it and like jesse said at the very beginning is that straight men and farts go together like jesse and wine that's right. You know, like. But why is it a thing that women get so embarrassed to fart? Because it shows like a messy, not proper version of yourself. And maybe yeah. you're trying so to maintain that, though. They're a month and a half into their relationship and it's picking up pretty hot and heavy. Uh, so they're not at that level of comfort yet. And I I, I, I think agree. that takes a long time. That takes living together, I just, I just, maybe going through a stomach bug or maybe going through food poisoning together. So you as a, you know, gr- you as a girl, how do you stop yourself from farting? Because if you I just squeeze if, it in and no, try to you shoot can't, it back though. up your stomach. It does what? work. It, yeah, it's not good can. for you, but or you can tell if it's going to be a loud one or not. At least I'm very yeah. honed in the art of that, and I know if it's going to be a silent stinker or like yeah. a loud one, a I machine gun. Yeah, I am so not good at quashing a fart. Or you just make an excuse to leave, like she did, yeah. and go MIA for a little bit after you toot. Whatever toot you it do, and boot it. Don't take a shit and then try to throw it out the window when it doesn't flush. Oh my Remember gosh. that story? Yeah, that was a story about a girl on Tinder. She went to a guy's house, took a poop. <laughs> And it couldn't flush, and she didn't know what to do. So 
There's oh, two no. stories actually. One who tried to throw it out the window and it got stuck like in between the glass and the window. <laughs> and then she got stuck trying to reach in and get her hand in there to get it out. And then there was another story very similar where she wrapped it up and put it in her purse uh, and took it with her. I'll just take this home with me. But you know, see, wow. this is how crazy girls and guys, I'm one of them too, are about like bathroom stuff with sex, which is so messed up because all of our sex organs are also bathroom organs. Right. So why are we so disgusted by bathroom? bathroom stuff in sex but we are because bathroom you're excreting waste i know that's where you like well you know my i have a friend that i made in the play i won't say his name maybe he doesn't want me to but he is very turned off he's gay and he doesn't like come and he's like it's disgusting and i'm like i I love it and i'm like (laughs) why why is it so gross he goes don't hold back eh jesse it's he's like it's just snot from your dick and i was like Oh, he's it's, like it's excrement. It's the same it's as true. feces or snot or urine. It's a it's a it has excrement. urine in it. Oh, really? Oh yes. Oh no. Traces of urine in semen. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, then I got urine in my stomach, girlfriend. Ew. <laughs> it's coming up. It's, it's coming up the same elevator shaft. I mean, it's <laughs> oh god. It's gonna pick up oh, the passengers along the way. Oh, this conversation totally went a different way than I thought it was going to. I'm to be so honest. glad that we're doing this one on Twitch because right. we are right in the toilet. We don't want this one to live in infamy. We? Do you have a mouse in your pocket? Well, you're right here with me, sweetheart. I, I'm just supporting you and trying to join in on the conversation without sounding too. But it's, but I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I don't know why uh, people are so skittish about it. But ever since he said that to me about ejaculate, I've been kind of like, oh, it maybe smells it is funny gross. Too. I don't like semen either. I'm with him. Power to that. Well, it's sticky. It ruins for fabric. Well, it's not like you want to save it and drink it later. <laughs> but I mean, in the moment, it's fun to watch. Like again, fireworks. Again, you and I are watching very different you porn channels. <laughs> You know what? There is that thing where people say they put it on their face because it's like oh. good for your skin, but that's bullshit because I Googled it a few times. You always told me that was just what guys want you to believe. I think that's what guys, I think some straight dude was like told his girlfriend because he really wanted to like just on her face <laughs> and was like, hey, you know, it's really good for anti-aging. Well, it can't be bad for you. It's Jesse's protein. like, it's worth a try. I'll put it on your face yeah. for you. You think this is so from the if skin you were, clinic? Wait, if you were if you were if you were to have a semen face mask, would you want it to be your own or would you want it to be someone's like a donor's? Hmm. Like obviously the donor would go through a health screening and stuff. Like if if they had it at a, at a doctor's office. Like a, like at a skin clinic, would you be like would you rather use your own mm. or would you yeah. rather it be from well, like could I choose like a like a sperm bank? Who is it coming from? <laughs> no, no, you can't. And how is that applied exactly? With the turkey baster no, or directly? They just, Water pistol. It's just like you would apply a face mask. <laughs> You know, yeah. Gosh, with like an application stick. And I'm stuff. surprised that's not a thing because there's already recipe books. Remember on the show we had a uh, someone wrote a, a recipe book for how to include semen in uh, cooking, <laughs> which is even too far wow. for me. James might be interested in that. He goes, put it in the freezer, ha! make a popsicle. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> or would you dip your popsicle in it? I don't know why I'm thinking of these things because it's like yogurt, right? This is too much for even me. Granola. I'm <laughs> loving every it, second of this. Mix it in with your granola or your smoothie. Blend it up in there with some fruit. Well, if there's fruit in mashed potatoes. <laughs> Over to you, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, I my mean, God. there's a way. You could, or could you dehydrate dehydrate it and formulate it into a powder? Okay. Like it just I want to move on. Things that make you go. <laughs> hmm. um, but back to our L- lots, lots for Jesse to Google this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I right. think I think she really needs to call him. Uh, you don't need to change your postal code. Oh. Um, or and your name. You know what? I think he's over it, and it's gonna come up. She's like, should I mention it? It's going to come up. Mm-hmm. You know, he's good. I remember. You know what? I remember one time an ex being like, "You tooted in your sleep." I was mortified. But he laughed so hard he cried. So at the end of the day, I think a lot of this is on you. Well, of course it is. It's like, you know, let me think of an example. But you know when you're dating someone or you're st- and there's something embarrassing that they think is so embarrassing, but you think it's endearing? Yes. So it's that sort of thing. Yes. Like a girl toot is cute. Well, could be. Depends what it smells like. That needs to be a t-shirt. A girl, a girl toot, toot is cute. <laughs> 
Uh, and the number, that and right the now. number one selling item this Christmas, yeah. a girl toot is. We cute should make t-shirts. a line of T-shirts with some of the shit that comes out of our mouths. Hey, Madge. Mm-hmm. Right? Madge. Oh my God. Jesse we need a messy, messy podcast. podcast. Store. We are curious since we do have a bunch of you right now on Twitch. Would you guys buy shirts with some some of the stuff that comes out of our mouth and wear it in public? Let's rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that way we could charge more. Yeah, you know? right. what would we? What would we're, we're not talking? We're not talking live DNA. We don't really here. Have Girl a toots line. are cute. Would be one, and we just come every time we have something silly that we say during an episode. We write it down. I and think it's fantastic. In fact, see if people will buy T-shirts. If this radio station had a budget for bus boards, that would be on the side of yeah. the bus tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> or would we have to put it as a question? Do you think girl toots are cute? <laughs> Text us at. Join the conversation. Yes, let's let's interrupt the music on the nonstop music station because some consultant somewhere decided that yeah. we should ask you questions and engage you. And in, in, uh, what's your favorite color? Um, uh, Bill from Canada thinks let's, yes. Let's get back to our <laughs> listener letter, guys. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to get sued. Yeah, and honestly, a lot of people probably have no idea what we're talking about right now. Wow. <laughs> Just listen to every single FM station out there, and they're doing the same stupid shit, asking you a nonsensical question about nothing that matters. And okay, we're not here to bash, guys. Oh, Let's right. move on. Yeah, I still we've got a listener letter here. <laughs> I, I'm, <laughs> we're trying I'm past to give. It. We're trying to give advice. All right. Um, but I do. I think you need to give them a call. You guys need to go out. Just don't go out for Mexican food. <laughs> and you know what? Go back and have some really good makeup sex. If it's not even a fight, just go back and have some sex. And you know what? He might not even remember that you slipped one out. You know, the slippery slope here is that if he takes this as an opportunity to open the farting floodgates and he starts farting. Oh, gosh, no. Now you got to draw some lines. Now you got to make some rules. So, OK, flip it. What? How do you feel about a guy farting? Well, is it's it more ha- normal? guys. Yeah, kind of. And I know that's so wrong for me to say that because equality, yeah, gender but... equality. But I, I mean, not when they're intentionally doing it all the time. But like if you got to g- do it, it's. I think it's different, too, because women are traditionally the receivers, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And in my world, you're, there's usually you receivers. You can switch roles. But, but if you're the one that's, if you're the bottom, then you're more in the female mindset because if you fart, then they're going to associate your butt with pooing, and that's not what you're there to do. So I think that's where it comes from. Right. For me, anyway. Yeah. I think you're okay. I think you just need to, like, nip it in the butt. <laughs> Give him a call. We've been over this. <laughs> Just hook up a vacuum and it's... put it in the area, and she could toot. Away. Right, Watch I, it. I do. I feel bad. Like I can't tell her not to be embarrassed because I would have been changing my postal code as well. But I think if you really care about this guy, and it sounds like she really likes him. Then just go for it. And you know what? The worst that happens is he does what every other guy does and ghosts you in another week. <laughs> it's not going to be because of the fart. No, it's not going to be because of the fart. It's going to be because you said you like him. Right. <laughs> and it's 2019. And that's what people like do when fart, things get Like a fart, he'll serious. be silent but deadly. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah. You know, Bill made a good point here. He goes, unless he's completely anal, <laughs> it's not a big deal. And that's a good point. Because if you were a guy in a straight relationship and a girl tooting would turn you off to the point where you don't want to see her yeah. again. I don't think you want to be with someone like right. that. Because imagine if you do get married, imagine what he'll feel like at childbirth. Or if he has to change a diaper, God forbid. Right. Or like I said, she gets the stomach flu or something for the first time. If you're the kind of guy that you find your girlfriend farting funny and, and it's entertaining to you, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think And if it okay. offends you, then, yeah, you know, you're okay, look, you know, let's not do that. I won't do that in front of you. You don't do that in front of me. Like Rebecca Whatever says, works for you. she says here, if she thinks they have a future, then she needs to get over it. Farts yeah. happen. You eventually get over it, and then the Dutch ovens begin. See, that's what I'm afraid of for her, though. And then you buy a dog, and then you've got real fart issues. Oh. Yeah, but maybe she does have that kind of sense of humor. We don't know. They're right. still discovering each other, right? Like, it's not a deal breaker, but my ex-boyfriend used to fart nonstop, and it was disgusting, and it would really make me very angry because he would do it to try to get under my skin. But I never, it was never going to be like, we're breaking up because of this, but I hated it. Right. And don't, Gord used to Dutch oven Kimberly, our old co-host Gross. Gord. We'd say he would Dutch oven his, his she married him, so clearly uh, it wasn't a deal yeah, breaker. Yeah, and her. she's like a beautiful, smart, intelligent he woman. He out with that Sometimes one. I always go, really, Kimberly? But Gord's endearing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, so that's like the thing, child. too, is you find it endearing. And when you reach that level of comfortableness in a relationship, yeah. that's pretty awesome, too. Comfortableness? Yeah. What is right. it, comfortability? Comfort. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> Go play with your vaginal. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Thanks for tuning in, Twitch. We'll be here again next week at the same time, right? 
maybe a little uh, well it depends Ish. on john Blast yeah, the radio we'll keep is putting you updated. up uh, christmas lights which is fabulous yeah so make sure and we're going to be doing an early one one day too like early in the morning i don't know if you can handle this early in the morning the week uh, after okay. next yeah. yeah all right well it all these, depends we'll these just, are things i need to know well like, it all like, depends there might be a chance we might not be on twitch that's why you need to follow us on facebook and follow us on instagram because yep. that's where we keep you up to date weekly with Whatever's going on. Like Jesse said, uh, blast the radio for the third year now. Uh, we're out there um, putting up Christmas lights in exchange for a donation to the Distress Center of Ottawa and Region. Our first day was yesterday. Uh, raised over 350 bucks. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to keep the Sundays clear because I know that I've got a commitment to you guys here. But, um, I mean, we could, you know, we can adjust your schedule here. Just keep your eyes on our social media channels, their social yeah. media channels. And we'll let you know when they're in. And, and it and may not be but... Sundays anymore when Jenna's done I'm not, her I'm not uh, Chris Jenner right. school. Sure. I'm not canceling your show. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's still going to happen. Well, we still got microphones. Phones, and even if we can't come on Twitch, we'll still have the episodes if we can't make it into the no, studio. No, no, they'll be yeah. here. They'll be here. But I'm starting to like our little Twitch club here of, Re- of Rebecca, right? James, Rebecca, and Bill every Bill, week. Bill, James, everybody. Uh, oh, Lee Marie, we won't forget yep, you. Everybody who's too shy to, you know, come out there and say your name. Uh, say thank name, you for joining us. Name. This is really fun. And we get to drink wine. Cheers. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, guys. <laughs>